Two years ago, the headline was that Google was late to the AI party. But today, they essentially own the venue. For the first time since 2019, Alphabet has overtaken Apple to become the world's second most valuable company. Congratulations. And of course, the irony is undeniable. The very competitor they passed is now actually reportedly paying them $1 billion a year to power Siri with Gemini. But the conversation goes beyond stock prices. Because from rapidly stealing market share from ChatGPT to launching a new agentic commerce standard, which actually changes how we shop. Google is proving that distribution is the ultimate advantage, which of course makes us wonder regarding what has changed and why now. Of course, to understand this a lot better, we would uh, like to invite Siddharth Jindal, our tech journalist, to front page. Welcome to the show, Siddharth. How are you doing? Yeah, thank you, Sudhi, for uh, having me. Good, good to be here. Wonderful, as always, a pleasure. Of course, let us start with this, uh, Siddharth, Google versus Apple. Apple yeah. is now paying Google $1 billion a year, as I just mentioned, to power Siri with Gemini. Does this prove that while Apple owns the device, Google has very officially won the ground for the intelligence inside of it? Yeah, it won't be wrong to say that, uh, like, uh, as you mentioned, like, uh, Apple is in uh, talks with Google to in integrate uh, Gemini into their mobile phones. So since the past two years, Apple tried its best to build uh, Apple intelligence, like its own foundation model. But this, uh, the feedback uh, it received from the customers wasn't good and the, the model wasn't good and uh, there were some mistakes. Uh, so last year, last year, an incident occurred where uh, Apple intelligence uh, model uh, generated a false summary of a news item. So mm -hmm. that uh, caused some troubles for Apple as well. So after that, like Apple started looking out for different uh, players in the market from which they can buy intelligence. So there were reports as well, it could uh, buy uh, AI startup Mistral or maybe Perplexity. But mm -hmm. in the end, it was decided that they will go ahead with Gemini and like uh, it's most likely that next uh, uh, model of series is going to be powered by Gemini. Yeah, because it's a crucial decision, especially when intelligence yeah. is dealing with people's bank accounts, health records, etc. So yeah. I guess, yeah, a prudent thought as far as that is concerned. But now, if we talk about Gemini, as far as uh, Gemini overtaking chat GPT is concerned, yeah. Siddharth, yeah. Um, we are aware that Gemini's market share has exploded while chat GPT is sliding, right? Yeah. So is this because Gemini is truly the better model now or simply because Google has made it available on 3 billion Android phones overnight. Yeah, so the data uh, say, proves that. So according to uh, stats from similar web, uh, since the last year, like early 2025 to early 2026, the usage of uh, chat GPT has uh, fallen from 86% to 64%. On, mm -hmm. the, at, on the other hand, at the same time, the usage of Gemini has increased from 5% to 21%. So number says that like people are liking Gemini more, especially mm -hmm. after the release of their latest models, uh, Gemini 3 Pro and uh, Nano Banana Image Pro, which you must have been aware sure. of. Uh, we did uh, uh, videos on Nano Banana Pro. Like, oh, how we've done quite a few. Yeah. 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 So like we did analysis on how the uh, Nano Banana Pro is good at uh, making infographics and images, and it can handle text as well, which other models cannot mm. at this point of time. Yeah. What do you prefer using very quickly? Is it Gemini or is it ChatGPT? So, like for writing purpose, I uh, prefer using ChatGPT. But uh, mm -hmm. like I feel that Gemini uh, Gemini app is way better than ChatGPT when it comes to voice interactions. So, if I have any doubt, doubt or I, I want to ask anything, so Gemini voice model is quite good, and like I'll suggest everyone to try it once. So it's pretty accurate as well as it has access to internet as well. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Thanks for that input, Siddharth. Of yeah. course, now when we speak about the new commerce protocol, which is the UCP, yeah. Siddharth, Google yeah. has always been an ads business. We are aware of that. Yeah. You know, they've been yeah. forever selling clicks. But yes. with this new commerce protocol handling the actual checkout, do you feel uh, Google is trying to become the next Amazon? Yeah, we can say that like, uh, so uh, like Google was the first one to like uh, uh, bring in internet shopping. So uh, it was one of the early players in that market alongside Amazon. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, so like now we are moving into the era of AI agents where like agents are going to shop for us. Shop for us. Right. So, so we actually need a, a different platform for that. So for that they have released Universal Commerce Protocol yesterday, where mm -hmm. through like integrations like MCP and A2A, 
like uh, users can discover and shop within google itself without actually going to the website sure. Sure. so for the same they are working with companies like walmart target as well shopify is there hmm. so and from payment side there, there is a stripe so it's a move in a new direction where like people will be buying through uh, agents so the company on that line the company is also releasing a new business agent which will help hmm. retailers retailers uh, how to uh, showcase their showcase their product on the platform and like you must have also observed in the past uh, few months like disc- discoverability is falling down from seo point mm. of view and like people are trying to find new ways on how they can discover products like internet mm. is going to change completely the internet sure. which we are, which you are seeing right now it won't stay the same forever forever so so a, so there's a new feature called direct offers as well which will show mm. uh, 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 ai ads in ai mode of google so like uh, we uh, we are being, we are like used to uh, use instagram we are seeing like how the yeah. algorithm pushes us ads on our feed so the same is same thing is going to happen in like google search okay. uh, through ai overviews and other features so yeah as uh, coming back to your question like yeah uh, google has made a first move similar to what amazon did many years ago yeah so you feel that maybe uh, with with making the user experience a lot more seamless uh yeah. google can maybe well become another amazon or even bigger that's your final thought yeah yeah so like they they were banking on the advertisement business for search mm. so sure. like uh, like the search has to evolve so like uh, even if right now like when we uh, surf the internet no one is clicking on the blue links everyone is uh, surfing inside uh, maybe perplexity or google uh, ai mode so google a good AI. move according yeah to yeah good yeah move. yeah so Fair. also like uh, another angle which i wanted to talk about is like uh, like yeah. yeah so google has like a distribution advantage as well sure. so like in, like when we speak of uh, like other products uh, like chat gpt like mm. it will also integrate uh, shopping features like according to the reports the company is already working on how to, how it can integrate ads inside chat gpt right. but the ben- benefit uh, like google has is like its distribution layer like we have gmail we have youtube we have google maps. works maps workspace android right. so yeah yeah i'll so come back so that of course gives them yeah, gives them the yeah, advantage distribution advantage so uh, right now as we speak there are 3 billion active android users wow. and on the other hand open ai uh, does not really have an hardware device it's according to mm. news like it's planning to build one yeah yeah but mm. i mean obviously those are still nothing is confirmed and we are not uh, still very yeah, clear yeah. in terms of yeah. the official launch if at all there is any etc of course which brings yeah. me to the final uh, uh, final uh, question uh, siddharth uh, which is that open ai's code red open ai's mm. code red which is if uh, mm. we all know about this that sam altman has mm. declared a code red as open yes. ai's dominance is starting to fade so hmm. how does a startup well compete when its rival owns the chips the cloud and the phone in everyone's yeah. pocket what's your take on that so like uh, Op- codred was announced by open ai specifically for google only so hmm. last year they figured it out like google is racing ahead of uh, them so that's hmm. why like altman mentioned so they had to refocus their priorities and like they started working on more research so i think they are betting big on scaling lows so they will require more compute as we uh, as we all know that open ai already has uh, uh, secured deals about 1.4 trillion of compute so but it's uh, difficult for them to compete with google like google owns every layer like this sure. conversation like they have tpus as well so their uh, uh, flagship model gemini is also trained on tpus and on the other hand at the same time other players like meta and and hopic are also exploring the use mm. uh, use of tpus and the company is also heavily working on robotics uh, only recently after at ces it announced its partnership with boston dynamics as well where it mm. will integrate the gemini model into humanoids as well mm. and at, like as of now like apple and openai have slowed down their robotics research mm. and at the, uh, while on the other hand like google is racing ahead in this sector as well so like to openai to race ahead of uh, google they will need to focus on research in terms of model software like software is mm. their strength right now it yeah. is not easy to enter the hardware market like uh, google started building it was back in 2016 so, yeah, so even, the experience yeah. is clearly with them yeah. for sure yes yeah. yes yes 
so like uh, open mentioned that like, speedy normal for companies to declare for that when this pressure so it, it would be it would be exciting to see like uh, how open is made to come back uh, so like people will have their high hopes from the next flagship model gpt6 so if we oh. go by uh, altman's the past interviews i think they will focus big on memory like how like uh, the model should have good memory so so they can become good ai assistant for users like it, it should remember everything or well, in this in this area also like google has advantage because it already knows us through our workspace True. gmail yeah <laughs> fair enough siddharth well yeah. uh, definitely as you mentioned a uh, very very exciting times ahead and yeah. of course open ai really needs to probably introspect and uh, mm-hmm. uh, think about what their strategies are going to be because google definitely is mm-hmm. uh, far ahead right now they have uh, all the advantages distribution software hardware and the yeah. fact that they are definitely making sure that they are putting their uh, pedal mm-hmm. pedal to the metal yeah. Uh, thank yeah, you so yeah. much, and of course, yeah. uh, we are uh, very thankful as always, Sidhat, for your insights. And we'll be, of course, back with Sidhat again, ladies and gentlemen, on front page when Sidhat uh, is going to break something exciting on the big tech aspect and the ecosystem. So, well, yeah. till then, ladies and gentlemen, this is front page. Like, share, subscribe, and of course, would be a good idea maybe for you to go ahead and uh, flex your muscles by saying, "Hey, Google, think AI, think AI." Thank you.